Well, I'm on my way to Mark Wiggs' house. Mark is an avid gardener and a good friend. He has generously offered to supply us with homegrown vegetables. We catch Mark on a clear August morning. My yard's over here. And um, my neighbor's really nice, and uh, Ruth, and she said, you know, let's do a swap. We'll do a little sharecropping. You know, we'll, uh, uh, you can plant this strip here of garden, and uh, she likes uh, peas and tomatoes and cucumbers. Yeah. And I said, we'll grow plenty of those. So that's, that's kind of the concept here, um, sharecropping. You're using her space, and in exchange, she gets some of the vegetables that you grow. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? This is the first year. We're trying it out, and you know, we'll we'll. I, it looks great to me. The results have been good so far. <laughs> and we've been feeding a lot of people with yeah. it. <laughs> Assisting us are Nick, Allegra, Olivia, and Mark's daughter Mackenzie. They've offered to help us hunt for these elusive edibles. When you pick a cucumber, what do you have to do? You put your hand at the very top, and then just pop it off right at the top, okay? Huh. You want to get this one, Nick? Go okay. down there, grab it at the top, and then break it off right at the top. Is that a squash? Nice. These lungs, skinny Yeah. And you're lucky that you can make them into pickles. Oh, catch. Okay, um, there's two <laughs> zucchini in that one. You guys, can you see those in there? There's a zucchini underneath there. That's beautiful. Let's go after beans. Yeah, well, we got some there, but you should see what we have going on in the other. Yeah. It seems like a graveyard. Now, this was all raspberries. Yeah. What, what are these growing on? Um, uh, the beans, what I did is this is prunings from my cherry trees around here and the, and the pear trees. And I just take those, just after you prune, you just stick it in the ground. Um, it will flower. It won't produce fruit or anything like that, but it will flower. It looks really pretty in the springtime. And then you just have the beans and the peas climbing things growing up. Them, but wow. You get a lot of peas and you get a lot of beans out of it. Wait, these. so you, you, you take this limb off the tree, you stick it in the ground, and it, it lives? It will live for a few weeks and flower, and then it'll die. Wow. So it just so I'll have a row of white flowers along the edge here, you know, yeah. early in the springtime. It just looks really pretty. When I was a kid, my parents had to twist my arm to get me to work in the garden. How, <laughs> how, how are you getting these kids to actually want to come out and, and, and work in the garden? Yeah. Well, I think they have fun. Yeah, I, you know, they, they just have, have a fun. genuine interest. In... Yeah, they, yeah, and then they they like to eat the stuff too. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's nothing that you're doing special. No, 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 no. Yeah. They they like you know they like it. It's fun. Okay. Just curious. <laughs> yeah. Well, but rhubarb is one of my favorite vegetables. A lot of those. So when do these start to ripen? Um, uh, another few weeks. And then we got some um, some more beans and astronomers and some rhubarb and then we got some figs coming in. This is um, this tree's been in just a couple of years and we're getting gonna get a nice little crop of figs. And then against that wall we have some plums and pears, uh, blueberries underneath and asparagus underneath. Um, and so we're you know multi cropping in the same spot you know and getting a lot out of it. And then some beans underneath there too. So we'll have we'll get a lot of stuff out of it. Yeah. Look at those, those are chilly. Cool. Like it was one of the things that cool. Big guys. I want one, I want one. Look at those. I want this one. Okay, let's go up and wash this stuff off, Poor you guys. Squirrel. Poor squirrel. Let's go. Okay, throw those in there too. Wash them all off. Then we'll use that big basket. That'll be the wood um, we'll send you home with. Oh man. Oh man. Look at that. But they are, you know, the big baskets, they're really pretty. You know, you fill them up, put a lot of stuff in there. Right, you guys? You guys did all of that. Way to go. Thanks, Allegra. Thanks, Nick. Is this is this a, a typical summer day for you? Do you do you have a lot of kids at the house? Mm. On Saturdays, um, we try to do a harvest Saturday morning or Sunday morning, and sometimes we get people to show up and help, and sometimes we don't. And you know, but we um, when we go around the neighborhood with a wagon full of 
baskets like those. Yeah. People like to see us, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Thank you kids for helping us pick all these, these guys vegetables. Are great. Thank you. These guys are going to go home now and they're going to cook it. Thank you. Uh, they're going to make different things out of it and then um, and they're going to have that as going to be part of the television show. And so then we get to see what they come up with. Yeah. You know, when they go home. For more information or to watch clips from previous episodes, visit our website, www.livingcultureonline.com.